if know. there is something so you want to sit know. right back or watch the Dean show the Dean show Bismillah alhamdulillah assalamu alaikum we're greeting with the best greeting, the greeting of peace. Peace be with you. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of The Dean Show. I'm Eddie, your host, and today we have a double treat for you. We're going to be talking to Mr. Sheikh, Brother Hassan. That's right. He was in the music industry for 40 years, 40 plus years. He's here to tell us his story, how he went from singing to people such as Ronald Reagan to singing also to the former president, of Yugoslavia, Tito, and some of the higher clerics up in the church, that's right, the church, and also different imams, such as Sheikh Benderuls and whatnot, to finally, finally, after being a one who was not so Muslim, to a part-time Muslim, to once in a while culturally Muslim, to this, that, and the other, to getting back on track. We want to hear his story. They would say sometimes that you can't teach an old dog new tricks, but let me tell you something, as he's going to testify today, that you know what, when the truth comes to you, when you realize that, hey, I'm going to die sooner or later, I better get my act together, and I better seek guidance from the one who created me. He's best to tell me how to live my life. And when that truth comes, and you see the goodness that comes out from following that truth, you start to leave off some of these vices. You start to leave off many of the things that are of no benefit, the things that don't produce a positive outcome in your life, things that don't help you to become the best human being, but they kind of bring you down. So he left this, and we want to hear his story so we can all benefit, the young and the old, the rich and the poor. And it's a double treat because we have Kemal al Mekki who's going to be conducting the interview, helping us out here. Before we begin with this week's show, we also want to inform you about the new MQ Muslim Quarterly Magazine. It's out in bookstores near you, Barnes & Noble, and Borders, and you can order it online. Now, when you order it online, you can get The Dean Show Volume 2 for free. That's right, for free. So go ahead and pick up this magazine. You'll have myself and my brother professor Adam Black Belts in Gracie Brazilian Jiu Jitsu will be conducting the self-defense portion of the magazine the fitness section so this is a great deal for you get the magazine and get the Dean Show DVD with two discs in one case for free that's right for free that's the latest news now when we come back that's right Hassan is telling his story with Kemal al Mekki here on The Dean Show. I'll see you next week, God willing, inshallah. Enjoy this week's show. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be with you. Welcome, khair, Adi. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salamu wa rasulillah. My name is Kemal al Mekki. And today we have actually a very special guest. With me in the studio is Brother Hassan Redzovic. And uh, uh, Brother Hassan Redzovic, and it, by the way, it hurts me to call you brother. I wanted to call you Sheikh out of respect. But because of his humbleness, may Allah reward him, he actually refused that I refer to him as Sheikh. But uh, our brother Hassan Redzovic actually has a very interesting life. Uh, and we wanted to talk about some of his experiences. And something else that's very interesting for all the Dean Show fans, uh, if we can get the camera on uh, our brother Hassan. Brother Hassan is actually the father of Eddie, the host of the Dean Show. So for those who have been wondering for the past years where Eddie gets his good looks from, Alhamdulillah, in this episode, we finally have the answer to that question. <laughs> so, first of all, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And welcome to the show. And it's, uh, we've already been talking a little bit, and I'm very excited to get started. We'd like to get started by, by asking you, you know, when you were born, well, you don't have to tell us the dates, but where, at least, and what the atmosphere was like, the family was like, if you would begin, inshallah. This is my surprise. I even was not prepared or anything. But uh, thank to Allah to be with you Dana, today. Alhamdulillah. I'm born about 60 years ago in former Yugoslavia. Today is Bosnia. Mashallah. 1949. I'm born in a small town, but everybody knows each other, about 7,000 people. In big family, so-called, I would not say the poor, but we was 
middle class? So-called poor, poor okay. you know, father, mother, five, uh, six brothers and five sisters. MashaAllah. After Second World War, can you imagine today you have one child, you know, too much. That time, Eleven. there is no, thank God, you know, I can Allah. tell you know that uh, we don't have that what what the child have today in that time, but uh, thank God I, that I know now he was hundred percent and you know with us. Mashallah, alhamdulillah. You know. Okay, now just if you could give us an idea because some people may not have an idea after World War Two. Uh, who was in charge of Yugoslavia? Was it under Russian control? Man, many people would imagine it was under Russian control, but the reality is? No, there was, at that time when I was born, there was one system, communist, and there was Tito, a marshal. He was the one uh, uh, system, you know, one party. Okay. And honestly, whoever was uh, joined the party, they had a good time, the rest of it. They was struggling. My father, he was working by himself. You know, like I said, and also, what can you expect, except, you know, on top of everything, he, he chose a little bit alcohol also. Oh. That was effect every little bit, even today, from this disease. And the music, he loved the music. He started, uh, also he saw that like, you know, in me, kind of, that he can uh, he get me to be music. a singer, you know? Ah. And that's the stuff was started like six, seven year old. He was waking up nighttime, bringing the gypsies, you know, violins and playing music. But just and to clarify, this, w this was, he was Muslim by name. This was a Muslim family by yeah. name, yes? He was like Mahmoud Meho, the short in Bosnia. You know, they even, even we, you know, oh. Hassan, so, oh. you know, like, so you know, abbreviate the name, yeah? it was like, you know, kind of shy to say who you are. Okay. And Allah. would you be, if your name was Mahmoud or Muhammad or Ahmed, would you find problems from the government? Not or really, not, not really? really, but okay. I, now I can see like, you know, they played, played a very nice hmm. role about, you know, this religion. My father left me a two, two good, good advice. Okay. The number one is, he took me to the Imam and tell Imam, listen, he is a Hassan, your meat, my bones. Mm -hmm. Oh. Teach him by Allah. Excellent. Even my father, he was not praying, like he was part-time Muslim. Now, could you explain what it means, your meat, my bones? Because some even, of the viewers don't understand even this. Even you beat them, beat them, uh -huh. but let them know. Teach him that that's God exists. Beautiful. Just to uh, run it by the viewers one more time. Your meat, my bones, meaning you can whip them and beat them. You can take care of the meat. Just give me bones at the end. That's now, it. Now, there's some cultures where they tell the teacher, your bones, my meat. So you beat him and break his bones. Just give me the meat. <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> okay, anyways. Yeah, this one, one, a second, since my father is born in a smaller village, uh -huh. and he, after sick world, he came to the, this little bigger where we are, where I'm born. What happened? One day we was going to visit his, you know, uh, visit his relatives, our relatives uh, anyway. Right. And all the people they know him. One village is Orthodox Serbs. Oh, come on, they bring in alcohol. Oh. Hey, you know, they drink. Muslim, they bring in uh, chai, bring in uh, food. And then after all, he got drunk. Mm. On the way, he said, he told me, he says, oh, son, actually, I, I told him, father, you, brother, Baba, you, you, so popular. He said, listen, build a house in every village. How I can, small, how, mm. that's later, I, I meant, that's what he meant, be good with everybody. Oh, I see. They will love you. Okay, okay. And wallah, he, Thank so, Allah. So I, that's at least those two. I forgive him. Child abuse. Mm. I've, that we call child abuse. He abused me with the music. I see. Music that everybody thinks the music is something sweet. Oh, brother! I I'm professional. Forty years 
in the music business. Four Forty zero. years. Four zero. Okay, let's go for the, to the beginning. You said when you were six or seven years old, he my started father to bring waking me up to uh -huh. those gypsies violins. I want my son to sing. Oh, teach him, teach oh, him. See. Look, when I was fourteen, I had my own group following Beatles, long hair, oh. baby, baby, bala, bala. <laughs> you know the song. So <laughs> By the age of 14, huh? <laughs> okay. In 1966, uh -huh. guess what? I have another band, more bigger. I start earning money, 14, 15. Wow. I, I sing to the Tito, the president of, t of the country. So you, you got to the level. On 4th of July, they're gathering, all of it, they're gathering. Uh -huh. I sing there. So you got to that level, you're that famous that you sang now for the president. Now I start turning money from music, bringing money, this and this. When I was 18, I went to army, no school. Mm. Actually, let me go back to the, to the imam. After imam, I go to regular school. I okay. go to regular school, come late, or, you know, dirty pants, 11 kids, not per perfect, perfect. But sorry to interrupt, you said after the Imam, so you studied with the Imam? Yes. Islam? Yeah. So your father it took you business, to study yeah. with, the, with the Imam, but he also took you to study with the gypsies? No, 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 uh. to regular school. Okay, okay. Go government school. Excellent. You Excellent. know, regular school. When I go over there, if I mention God, I say, what guy God? No God. Mm. That God, don't, did you see God? Shut up. And so that then I was, conf that's a confusion. You see, let's say those riches, riches from Muslim or, you know, there, there was two different kind of Orthodox and Muslim in my town. Yeah. Not, not, there was no, no others like, you know, maybe one of thousand. All right. But what happened, now I'm confused. When this, the richest mo Muslim, his son doesn't go to, to Masjid, oh, that's not popular, what's wrong, come on. And that's a society we live, live, just a Muslim name, mm -hmm. that's it. But just by name, okay. By name, that's it. All right. Okay, so going back to the music then, you start to sing in front of the, the president yes. of the country, and then from there, where did it go to? On, on, then I have my own, own band, we play here and there, weekends, you know, we, we play, you know, uh, parties, you know, and everything. And uh, I actually don't succeed in the school, and I went to army. Huh. In army, whole 16 months, actually 18, but 16 months, I play in with army, army, uh, army band I see. in the town of Banja Luka. Mm -hmm. You know, after that, army I finish, I go to Adriatic in Yugoslavia. That's a popular place. It's Rijeka and Opatia. That's a festivals. I, then I, I start also in nightclubs. Oh, playing in nightclubs. Night, nightclubs, good time, worshiping, music. Uh -huh. so simple. Which is, uh, earlier you were talking to me about what I'm comes tiny, with I'm music. I'm telling now, like, ten, you know, in 20s. Now, and I'm 20. now 20 already. And then my brother, older brother, he went to Germany. Mm -hmm. And he called me after one year. He said, come on over, over here for you. He arranged for me to work and also music. Uh -huh. Always follow music, music, right, music. Right. Could you just explain to our viewers what you were telling me earlier? What comes with music so people can imagine the lifestyle? Okay, now I'm not today. Now, let's say, okay. thank God, to one. Actually, he was a, he was a Serb, Orthodox. He got me from t nine, ten, eleven, twelve years. You know, he this this man. He was a boxer. Mm -hmm. He was a singer. Okay. And he was uh, also also a truck driver, oh. and then he he teach me not to drink, not to smoke. But okay, woman, okay, you know. So, so with all this music, there was no drinking, no smoking. No, no. Okay, that's rare. All right. Now what happened? I spent. I left uh, Yugoslavia in 1970, yeah, Eddie, um, and then I. Also with the music and everything, and working. Uh, mostly there was nightlife and, you know, after that, uh, every three, six months I was driving down to, to, to Yugoslavia, okay. also singing, also when they calling me, to entertaining. 
Anyway, in 1973, I met my wife. That time she was in America. And then we met, guess, just one time. Hmm. We see each other today. Next day, I offer her, her, you know, marriage. You didn't waste any time. No. You're my kind of guy. Excellent. That's Very it. Very good. Excellent. What happened? After all, we went to Germany. She back to America, 1974. Actually, in four or five months, papers was finished. I came to to America, 1974. Okay. okay. Music, big time, in Canada, always, really? up and down, you know. And then finally, I came to Chicago, 1977. That time I had a uh, Eddie. Eddie, God gave me. Nice maybe he actually he he's bo born in Buffalo, New York. I used oh, to okay. live there. When I came to America, I don't like it. I don't like it. I start drinking. What's the reason? Because you missed the. There is in Germany. I was crying for Germany. The popularity and the yeah, everything there. over there. Okay. Different, you know. Anyway, guess what? I start now. So all the time, I, I was chasing a microphone, mm -hmm. praying to microphone, mm -hmm. and to woman. Okay. Now comes alcohol. For the first time, now alcohol comes in. Actually, the in Germany, I tried, the, they call it Dunkel beer. That's like for ladies. Uh -huh. They drink it as beer for okay. ladies, you know, that thing. But now, no, now, okay. now it's can whiskey with mix, whatever uh -huh. is there, you know. Anyway, again, also this bridge america yugoslavia once twice a year always i was going over there if there's any 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 you know concerts or anything to to you know win the prize go over there mm -hmm. back and forth recording right you know and then uh, i record some some you know some uh, cassettes some uh, albums, albums uh, yeah. some uh, uh, dvds you know and then uh, what happened? All of this to this life. Also, when I moved to Chicago, then I I bought a nightclub, Europe at night. You bought one? Yes. And you call it Europe at night? Europe at night. Mm. Okay. Big time show. All of so-called stars from Yugoslavia, mm. Serbs, those Muslims from Bosnia, here, there, band. Anyway. Now it's two, two kids. I have daughter, 1989. And then what happened? Finally, I, I, I could not make it. Thank God I, I sold it, nightclub. After that, after that I, uh, I, uh, I went to Yugoslavia, mostly also What's what, what what's going on with with my uh, music, taking me? But one main main key is my mother. Mm -hmm. My father he passed away before I got married and left country. Okay. What happened? My mother. That time that I don't know, I love her more than 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 God, than Allah. Mm -hmm. I was not not. Not believer, really. Okay. Because I was look the way I see now, I was really not that I should be, you know. But also loving my mother. I was thinking when when I go sometime to the graves, you know, somebody died, Janaza, you know. I was thinking, what I gonna do when my mother died? And I was watching, I said, I tell him, I said, I will kill myself. I will lay down with her, let, let them cover me, you know. Anyway, my mother, she passed away in 1995. War started in, in a former Yugoslavia. In Bosnia, start 1992. By watching this on television, hearing it, trying to help the families back and forth, back and forth. Anyway, uh, what happened? 1995, my mother, she passed away. And then 
1996, 1996, I went to Bosnia, war stop. I went to Bosnia with my daughter, with my wife, and I went over there. To do what specifically? Actually, to visit my daughter. She wanted to study. Okay. Until then, I was, let's talk about, like, say, my dean, in my, you know, religion. I was not visiting just, you know, on one time a week, you know, on, on Sunday, not even Friday, you know, but Vis Sunday. Visiting the mosque? Mosque, okay. mosque. All right. Just go pray, show, show off over there, what's, you know. So there was some beginning now. Yes, no. That was all the time here in America. Uh -huh. Yes, I, because this, I was singing 1981, I went to, to uh, South Slavic Festival in Washington. The time there was Reagan and Nancy, I think, in one big hall. In front of Ronald Reagan. Yes, he was the yes, president. yes. Okay. And then, uh, then over here, all the Yugoslav tops, ambassadors, uh, consuls, all of those Orthodox Christians, those, you know, the, the Catholics, priests here and there, they, in their community, Muslim also, imams, main imams here. I go and sing to them parties. Really? They we, we, to we eat, we go, <laughs> la, 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 come on. All right. And then I, I thought that's, that's, that's really, that's okay. Mm -hmm. And then when I visit 1996 Bosnia, I could not believe. We used to drink together, chase the girls together, do everything, you know, I'm talking about the neighbors, but you know, it was no difference who you are. Right. Oh, we are all Yugoslav, we are this and this. No religion, no, no religion. No religion, no God. But okay. I see all the three villages burned. Mm -hmm. And I met over there one uh, American uh, officer, actually police, international policeman, and he said, Hassan, we need you here. We need you here. When I come back, I start joining uh, I mean American Army peacekeeping, peacemaking force. Okay. As translator, you know, my life's on. Anyway. So you went as a translator? Yes, okay. I went over there. It was, every door was open for us. When I went and listening to these people, all of them, thank to Allah, and some of these people were, were people you grew up with that you knew. I know. You heard their stories. Okay. Look. Excellent. I'm, I'm going to stop you there. We'll take a quick break. And when we return, inshallah, we'll continue with our brother Hassan Radzovic, inshallah. No speech is better than to do that, to call people to Allah and to do the work. No speech is better. No, nothing is better than that. Is it true that if one person on the... Allah giving you the ability to guide someone with Allah's permission, the Creator's permission that is better than everything in this world. Better than the whole world and everything that's in it. In, in another narration, it's better than the best of wealth. But if we really felt that, Eddie, would we not be give, out giving dawah? And this is something that we encourage all the MSAs, all the dawah organizations, the masjids to get this. We want to print more. We give these to the non-Muslims for free, for free, for free. We want our brothers in humanity to become our brothers in faith. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and welcome back. In this special edition of the Dean Show, we're talking to Brother Hassan Redzovic, who, as I said in the beginning, is actually the father of the host of the Dean Show, Eddie. And we, we left off when you were a translator in Bosnia and you were talking to people that you grew up with and they were telling you what had happened. And, and basically, if I understood you correctly, now there was a split. Before, it didn't matter if you were Orthodox, Christian, Muslim, but now it mattered. Yeah. Now really that a matter, but what what happened to me? It's my God that I believe my mother. She passed away. Okay. But the day when she passed away, Allah made so easy for me. I was thinking, I don't kill myself. I don't lay down. You didn't think you would handle. And then it. when I go, there must be a God. It's no. Let me find out. Really, you know, why? Why is this happen? By talking to people, I start praying. I start, even in the base over there, we have tent, 
to so let's start, start it salat, in the base. Start beach. Little, 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 little. Mm. And then I I get off this, uh, you know, army in 1998. First, first thing what happened, I come back to U.S. I joined the group, go to Hajj. Mashallah. Hajj. Beautiful. That's my first day of of my life to live like Muslim, five days praying Excellent. and trying go on, keep going, keep going, copy. Mashallah. After that, one, two, three, four, five, 1999, 2000, one, two, three, five times, Allah guide me to Mecca, Medina. Allah Akbar, excellent. Five times. Beautiful, mashallah. And then, like I see here, here's the thing, you know, uh, what happened to me, now I know Allah, like he know him, me when I was a little baby, mm -hmm. he, don't, he was always with me. Alhamdulillah. Yes. I was disconnected. I was part-time Muslim. Beautiful. Believer. But part-time Muslim doesn't exist. Excellent. You're right. I will, I will say, Allah, look now. After five years, miracle happened to me again, another one. What's that? I come back from third Hajj. I made a Hajj for my father. MashaAllah. My Allah accept him for my mother. When I came 2003, miracle happened. I came home the day my wife, she says, Hassan, Eddie, he's got a present for you. So bring it home. Guess what? Quran in Bosnian translation. Oh, I have one, but that's uh, my best present I can have. Eddie brought it for you? MashaAllah. And, and how old was he when you brought but this? Guess what happened? Oh. Now, next morning, next morning, we lived where the school is, like two miles away in my house, and Eddie lived by himself over there. In the morning, Fajr. I woke up, said, what happened? Always said, you know, you think something happened. I said, Daddy, let's go pray. He never, I don't see him, but it's also part time. But how old was he now, so we understand? This, is, this was uh, 2003. Okay. 2003. So he's waking up for Fajr. He work, and next to my house is Masjid. MashaAllah. I said, okay, okay, I'm going to be ready, you know. I was tired from Hajj, and this, I mean, from, uh, yeah, from Hajj. No, no, he says, we go MCC. It's like two, three miles away, down two miles at least, you know. More reward, he says. <laughs> My dua, Arafat, that's what happened. SubhanAllah. <laughs> Which was what? What was your dua specifically in Arafat? What was your dua in Arafat? Dua. Number one is, you know, save me. My family. Alhamdulillah. Excellent. So, dua for the my family. My family. And then your son the next day. And then my, my family who deceased. That, and then also from all Ummah. Alhamdulillah. All Beautiful. Ummah. Beautiful. Every guide. Alhamdulillah. Well, I, I don't see now, let's say, that uh, different because the people is, they don't know, they don't see, you know. Now they're asking what? Hassan, why don't you sing? Why don't you this? Why don't you listen? If you give me whole world, wallahi, oh Allah, don't, don't let me go to the microphone. Subhan Guess what? Also five years, Shaitan, the Satan, he was playing with my mind. Once a week, they have a music night. He tricked me. We go over there. Mm. Let me tell you this, what happened. In one place in, over here in Chicago, and I go thinking, I go in this bar, nightclub, with the music, this kind of singing, mm -hmm. they know me. They came like so-called star from Serbia, uh -huh. lady and the, 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 this man. We know each other for three, five oh, years. Okay. Zoran Kalajic, Lepa Lukic, she's a king lady from Serbian music in whole singer. Yugoslavia, mm -hmm. yeah. And that night, what happened? I sing just to tell him, you know, look, I drink chai, tea, or, 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 or juice. Who is the happiest? Me, no alcohol. Mm. Another thing, you know, just to, to call him to, to, to worship God. No, no, no music. No. But what happened? Next day, Eddie called me and said, Daddy, we got to go home depot. 
he come, he came to my van, said, what's going on? Is this okay that you go over the nightclub and, and now I said, who are you to tell me, you know, like, mm -hmm. you know, my life? See how that, you know, you know see mm -hmm. what happened. And how did, was he, he had, how did he find out? He had someone spying yeah, on it's you? It's a uh, uh, the, the news got around. There's some Bosnian Sunday okay. calling uh, my brother, they, 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 right away, there's a small wall, like, yeah, yes. what happened then? He said, I was kind of, hey, you telling me, I'm your father, you, like, I don't want to tell, shut up, but in the way, you know, you, you don't have to tell me what to do. I know my knee, like, right, you know, I right, think. Right. And he got mad. See, if you think the, the Malik's walking, the, 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 you know, angel walking in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in, this, in this nightclub over there, and you calling God to help you over there, you go. Wallahi, two, three blocks, I stop and say, thank you, look. <gasps> Allah. I come back. Forgive me, so. Since that, it's like four, five years. Thank you, Allah. There's so many people still in this lifestyle, and they think they're happy. They're chasing happiness Look. like this, yeah. You know, we're we're actually we're actually going to end. Uh, we have uh, very little time left, and there's probably still a lot more that we can hear from you. And, you know, we, may Allah reward you and accept from you your good deeds and your Allah repentance. Allah and may Allah accept from Allah your Allah family Allah and bless them for you. Same to you, my brother. Which is, uh, which is a very nice relationship that, that the nasiha goes both ways, from the father to the son and the son to the father as well. So that's a great blessing. So, uh, Brother Hassan, then it was a pleasure talking to you. We'd like to thank you very much uh, for sharing with Same us your here, story. Brother. And uh, we'd like to thank everyone else for watching. And inshallah, we'll continue at another time, talking a little bit more about the, you know, the, the world and the pull of the, the shaitan versus inshallah, being inshallah. drawn to Allah. Jazakum Allah khairan for watching. Sallallahu mubarak ala Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. There is none greater than the Creator. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. There is none greater than the Creator. The Prophet say, submit to Him alone. Whether you're rich or young or old, the gift of life is worth much more than gold. He's the owner of